Hey, welcome back. There are tons of plugins and bits of kit you can use if you want to add in a PayPal subscription button to your website. Why am I talking about subscriptions? Well, what if you don't want to use a dedicated LMS system and you're just, you know, you've got courses or things you're offering like a coaching website or accounting or whatever, some form of membership, and you want people to subscribe, like a recurring membership, okay? And you could use other plugins and other bits of kit, but you can do this totally for free. And it's so simple and easy to do. And I'm going to show you how you do that. You just need to make sure you've got a PayPal account, business account, preferably, to do this. Because what we're going to do is you could have a page advertising something. And then you could have a button on your website that says now subscribe, join for £50 a month, $100 a month or whatever, however you want to do it. This is so simple and easy to do. I can't believe that this isn't advertised more widely out there. And it's free, no code, well, a bit of code, but you get given the code, but no extra plugin. What you do is you go to PayPal after you've logged in and you go over to the tab up here, which is pay and get paid. Now, when you click that, okay, there will be an option. Let me just move myself a little bit over here. Pay and get paid. Oh, make sure you don't move your mouse too quick. Okay, you go over here and you go to PayPal buttons. There is a box here called subscriptions. I have found that when you use this option and you get given HTML code, it does not always work on your Elementor website. It does just not work, even on a standard WordPress website, which is really, really annoying. What you need to do is go to PayPal buttons. Now, as soon as you click that, you, there will be quite a few options up here, but what I found was the only option I need to worry about was subscribe. There is an option up here called Smart Subscribe, but again, don't ask me why. I just found that if you use any other option except subscribe, it just doesn't work. So what you do is you click subscribe. And this is where it gets really, really interesting and easy now. So we click subscribe, and it's now gonna ask us to pop in some options. So this is now where I start to decide the type of button. Well, it's already subscription, because we went there. Whether you had clicked donate or anything else on that screen, you would have ended up here anyway. But we're going to go with subscription. I'm going to give this a name and I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it, um, um, let's call it coaching, coaching course. OK, do you want to give it an ID? You don't have to, but I would say it's not a bad idea to do that. The currency is Great British Pounds. And now I'm going to decide on, well, how do I want the box to look? I find these boxes subscribe and looking like this a little bit off putting. I'm not a massive fan of this strategy. You could have a drop down though if you wanted to have different types of courses. So you might have like a uh, a $20 a month course or a $50 a course month or a $100 a course month. So you can split it out and add in other options. But if you don't wanna have like a drop down menu, you can actually um, also do customized text. So if I go here, instead of having uh, words showing up like subscribe or buy now, which again, you're limited to what you can show. I'm going to say use your own image and what you would do is upload an image onto your WordPress website and then you can actually add in your image. Make sure your image is a maximum of 350 pixels in width. Why? Because when you look at your button on a mobile, you want it to look right, okay, on a mobile. So you could have a little button now and make it look how you want. But for now, we're just going to leave it being a PayPal button. This is the bit now when you scroll down, you decide on, well, what are you charging? So let's go with 50 pounds a month and the billing cycle is every month. You could do every day, week, month or year. Again, really, really simple. Um, are you offering a trial period? Yeah, you could offer a trial period, which is zero for two weeks or whatever. I'm not doing that, just 50 pounds a month. And the only other thing I'm now gonna mess around with on here is to customize and I would then say, once someone has subscribed by a PayPal, okay, take them to a page. So I would paste into here your thank you page. Paste your thank you page and away you go, you know, so that it, that it returns them back to your site. You might say, hey, thank you for joining. I'll be in touch. Here's some free goodies or whatever. Now, once you've done all that, you do create button. Do, 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 you're going to get given some code. And all you've got to do is select the code, okay, copy the code. Go back to your website or Elementor, get some HTML, HTML, like that, drop it in and then drop in your code. And then you can sense that with a bit more HTML or a bit more coding, but that is 
a really simple, easy way for you just to basically have a subscribe button on your website. And when you click that, that's gonna take them over to your PayPal. Uh, well, I'll show you what happens. If I do preview changes and I now click that, that's gonna take them over to PayPal to start purchasing your services. So I'm gonna close that because I don't need to take you into PayPal. But that is a dead simple, easy way to get a subscription box. It's there for you in PayPal. Get going. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you soon.